So we want to start by cutting up the florets into small pieces. Now most people would boil this or steam it, in which case you would really smell up your kitchen. I have a better method. Instead of doing that, why don't you put the florets on a bake sheet? Then I give them a toss of extra virgin olive oil, put them in a 350 degrees preheated oven, and let them roast. Then you add your pasta. So the pasta goes in. We want to give that a stir and put the cover back on and let that come back to a boil. We really want to cook that just until it is al dente. So you're going to have to help me keep my eye on that. So while that's cooking, we're going to make the ragu part of this. And this is going to use a lot of typical Sicilian ingredients. So we're going to start with some olive oil. So olive oil in a pan, a couple tablespoons. And then we want some onion. So here we have an onion that's been already chopped up. I'm going to add that to our pan. Some anchovy. And here is anchovy. You buy it like this. These are these tiny silver fish. They really punch up the flavor of a dish, and they're used in a lot of Sicilian and in regular Italian recipes. So you can either buy them in oil like this, or you could buy them in salt and add them to the onions. What we really want to have happen here is the anchovy just pretty much dissolve in the onion and the garlic. So you put anchovy in as much as you want. I like three or four in this sauce just enough to give it great flavor. Here we have some garlic. You want to add the garlic after the onions have sweated down a little bit. So we're going to add garlic. Get that in and make sure that you're always using fresh garlic. You're not using garlic that's already been pre-minced and is in a jar. No flavor whatsoever. So now we have that. And then we want some capers. Now capers grow in craggy places, they are a flower bud of a plant that grows in the Mediterranean. You can either buy these in salt or you can buy them in brine. These happen to be in brine. If you buy the salted ones, you want to make sure that you rinse them really well. Otherwise, you're going to have too salty a taste in your dish. Capers play a big part in Sicilian cooking, as does the anchovy, so that's why it's in this dish. So here go the capers. This is a very fast sauce. Capers go in. We're going to give that a little bit of salt while we're at it, a little coarse salt. And then we want to have some hot red pepper flakes. And if you see that your pan is getting a bit dry, well, then you just add a little extra olive oil. So there goes a little extra olive oil in there. And then we want to have raisins. Why raisins? Well, this is part of that agro dolce foundation of flavors that goes to make up Sicilian cooking. Agro dolce means sweet and sour. So this is going to add a little sweetness. And all we did was take some raisins, put them in a little water, plump them up. You could put them in a little wine if you wanted to. Then we drain them. So now the raisins go in. I know it sounds like an unusual combination, but it's very typical of what you would find in Sicily. So we let that cook just for a minute or so. And then we want to add the cauliflower. So that cauliflower or the cauliflower, you could use cauliflower for this if you couldn't find the cauliflower, which now is nice and roasted and has a sweet flavor. We add that right to the pan. And once we have the pasta cooked, we're going to take just some of that pasta water and add it to this mixture. So all of this goes in, and we move this around. Mm, this is one of my favorite ways to serve penne with this wonderful combination. I'm going to give that just a little pinch of pepper. So a little black pepper. And now let's check and see where we are on the pasta, right in the pot, right in the pan. Put this back in here, and we're going to take a couple spoonfuls of this water because that has starch. 
And that starch is important to this sauce. So that goes in there. And now we just really want to toss this around. Delicious. All these smells come together. They remind me so much of Sicilian cooking. But this isn't the end of this because now that we have our mixture, we need to put some sort of a cheese with this. And I know that you know that the classic cheese of Sicily is pecorino cheese, which is sheep's milk cheese. So we have cheese, which is one option for topping this dish. And then, of course, we have to add pine nuts because pine nuts come from the stone pine tree that you find in Sicilia. So you mix this all together, and it goes right here with all these beautiful, beautiful ingredients. There's your broccoli or your calibrac or your broccolo, as it's called in Sicily. Spread that around. That look good? Mm-mm-mm. Get all that pasta. Scrape out all those little cracklings from the pan. Beautiful. And then we can add either breadcrumbs over the top or we can add that beautiful pecorino cheese. 